This is a Precision 18 Severe Weather Alert. News 18, weather from where you live. Well, good afternoon, I'm Jeff Smith. Freezing rain seems to have tapered off a bit early this afternoon for current conditions. Let's go to the News 18 Forecast Center where Chief Meteorologist Cameron Hotman has been tracking the storm system all morning long. Cam? Hey, Jeff. Yeah, we continue to track more of that freezing rainfall rolling east across the viewing area at this time. Tippecanoe County beginning to dry out, though, and our 720 camera still a little bit on the wet side, those roadways, but you'll notice traffic moving pretty uh, routine. Routinely, uh, at least on these treated roadways, that we are still getting reports over the last couple of hours here of slick roads throughout much of the viewing area. 30 degrees currently, so we're staying under the freezing mark, meaning any of those untreated roads still likely icy at this point. Winds are calm. That's the good news. We're not really seeing that freezing rain for right now in Tippecanoe County, but another little swath of freezing rainfall beginning to push eastward. This will affect parts of Fountain Warren counties, Tippecanoe County as well. Still seeing some light freezing rainfall across parts of Clinton County at this time. Trace amounts to as much as two tenths of an inch for the far southern portions of the viewing area. That freezing rain advisory remains in effect to 1 p.m. Sunday. That's because temperatures will remain below the freezing mark up until that point. Higher pressure building in, Jeff, means drier conditions, however, for this afternoon and evening. All right, Cameron, thank you. It's becoming a bit difficult to gauge roads as freezing temperatures linger right around that 32 degree mark. Black ice still a concern in some areas. We've got crews. All across Greater Lafayette this afternoon. News 18's Brad Oppenheim joins us live now from Clinton County, where a few accidents did take place earlier today. Brad, what have you got for us? Jeff, we've been out for more than five hours now, and we started off our morning in Tippecanoe County where it wasn't too bad. But as we started moving south towards Montgomery and Fountain counties, that's where we hit some slick spots. We didn't see any slide offs or anything, but there was some light icing on signs, and there were some, like I said, slick spots. But as we started heading north on 231, uh, at the Montgomery Tippecanoe County line in Linden, it looked like it was a little icy. And we actually uh, are headed, were headed over to Clinton County in between Dayton and Mulberry. We saw a slide off, an ambulance had slid into a utility pole. Um, we're unsure of any injuries or anything, but that was probably the most slick spot that we ran into. But we're in the town of Mulberry right now. It looks like traffic is moving through um, at a moderate to normal pace here along State Road 38. So we'll continue to keep you updated throughout the afternoon. Uh, for now, reporting live in Clinton County, Brad Oppenheim, News 18. All right, thank you, Brad. And one of the latest county to be put under a travel advisory is Benton County. Now, roads are getting worse near US 52 West up to Benton County. That's where we find News 18's Alexis Moberger. Alexis, how are conditions uh, just west of Greater Lafayette? Hey there, Jeff. Yeah, we just spoke to the Tippecanoe County Sheriff's Office, and they say there's been a ton of slide offs in the area. Right now, we're near 52 West, right near Otterbin, and they say the best thing to do is just to stay off of the roads. They say between the number of slide offs and the slow moving traffic, you're just better off to stay at home. Now, we did witness a crash right across the way here, and weather absolutely could have been a factor. We're also looking at Benton County. We drove up there a little bit earlier, and they're also under a travel advisory as well as Tippecanoe County. We'll be tracking any slide offs and any crashes, and we'll bring you those updates throughout the day. Reporting live in Tippecanoe County, Alexis Moberger, News 18. All right. Back to you in the Thank you, Alexis. Now, she did mention travel advisories. Let's take a look at the current map. This is the Indiana Department of Homeland Security's travel advisory map. So we have Benton, Tippecanoe, Clinton, Boone, Tipton and Hamilton counties under travel advisories, as you can see on that map. Uh, we're updating WLFI.com all day. You can get instant updates through our WLFI.com app. Uh, we'll be sending push alerts as events warrant. We'll return you now to regular programming. This has been a Precision 18 severe weather alert. We now return you to regular programming.